think it's fair to say that things are a lot better uh, between William and Harry. We will meet in the middle. Okay. Go. Go. Oh. I can tell you that there were phone calls and video calls over the Christmas and New Year holiday, and the Sussexes sent presents to the Cambridges and vice versa. It was an opportunity in an otherwise very busy um, and chaotic year for, for both of the families to come together and connect, albeit virtually. If you go back a year, at that stage, these brothers were barely on talking terms. When William went to the Sandringham summit, he was so angry with his brother, he couldn't even face going for that lunch with the Queen. He he only went for the meetings. Such was his frustration and, and feeling of disappointment about what his brother had done and how Harry was handling the situation. Fast forward to today, the relationship is much better than it was. For a start, they are on talking terms and not only on talking terms, they, they do speak relatively regularly. You know, they were very much in touch over the holidays, but there is an ocean between them. There is a time difference. Um, and as Harry said in that interview, they are two brothers on different paths. We're brothers, we're, we'll always be brothers. Um, we're certainly on different paths at the moment, but I will always be there for him. And as I know, he'll always be there for me. We are watching them now take those different paths. But I think there's a great sense of relief, um, certainly within the royal family, that relations between the brothers are much better than what they were. Whether it will ever be as close a relationship as it once was, that's questionable. But for sure, it's much better now than it has been. And it's not just William that Harry is in touch with. He's in touch with, with his father, the Prince of Wales, and actually in quite regular contact with the Queen. And um, she is always delighted to see Archie on video calls. And it's very important to her that she touches base with Harry. She's in touch with them. She, she knows what's going on in their lives. They discuss their plans with her. Harry has always seen his grandmother as a mentor. And while he might be in LA, that hasn't changed. I think possibly there was a time when Harry may have felt a little bit homesick. I think he was missing home when his father and his brother were ill with COVID last spring. But I think he, he is loving the California West Coast lifestyle. It suits him. He's always been a very laid back person. He loves nature. He loves being by the ocean. So I, I, I hear that he is very, very happy.